Aquarius, welcome to your timeless zodiac sign reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter placements in your birth chart, of course. Welcome aboard, guys. To all my subscribers, if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to join the Soul Tribe here. And if this resonates for you, of course, which won't resonate for everyone, not all Aquarius will be going through this. Please take it as it resonates. What doesn't resonate for you, leave it out for someone else. Okay. But if it does resonate for you, please give it a like, a thumbs up. That's all I ask. So Aquarius, we'll be, we will be getting into love over here and career over here. All right. So let's see what's happening in the love department. For my Aquarius, we got two cards. Ooh, third party situation. Other people may be interfering with this relationship and dimming its full potential. Mm. We got some haters here. So it looks like different paths. Okay, you are not on the same page with this person. You have in mind the directions you want to move into are different. Well, if there was a third party involved and they were making it difficult for you two to come together, it looks like, you know, you went your individual separate ways so what's coming after that then what's on this new path for Aquarius no point in talking about that all right yeah separation time apart from, um, from your partner is on the horizon uh, for some of you if you are in a relationship definitely time apart is coming up you, you are both on different paths it could be family or friends meddling in and creating drama for those of you in connections. Yeah. There's deception. And pay attention to the red flags. Okay, for some of you, you're long gone. You paid attention to the red flags. There was a third party. Somebody could have cheated on you. Whatever this was, you moved on. Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship. Know the warning signs of what is what an unhealthy commitment looks like. Okay? So, yeah. So that's done. Okay. Moving on. Unbreakable love here. Be honest. Nothing has gone wrong. And stay optimistic. So, there is the one here, though. So maybe there's somebody you're already crushing on, eyeing, or somebody eyeing you. And if this is not you separating from someone, somebody that's coming into your life could be going through this. So take it how it resonates. I feel this will be different for all of you. Okay, we have unbreakable love. This person has a genuine love for you. You can overcome any issues that may arise. Be honest. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations are necessary. It is safe for you to talk about your feelings. Nothing has gone wrong. Trust the process. This connection is divinely timed. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you, will bring romance into your life, and they are the one with law of attraction. So definitely, you are manifesting someone new. You have already met the romantic partner you seek, or um, for some of you, if this is you know we are in Mercury retrograde. So if someone sees that you were the one the whole time, and maybe somebody was trying to keep you guys apart. And you had to break free because you were done with the drama. But there's still love like there between the two of you. It could be this person. Now for others of you, you're manifesting the one. New love. Because you're opening yourself to others. And that's really what I'm getting. Okay, you have been manifesting this relationship. Everything you want will soon be yours. This is um, open yourself up to others. This is how you will create new friendships and attract a love relationship. Okay. So, with you have already met the romantic partner you seek, I'm feeling like this is a crush. There's somebody you see or somebody that sees you as a potential. Um, and it is real love. That's what I'm getting, so let's stick to that. Alright. And you know what, now that we see this, and we see this new love. We, we have no reason to talk about something you already walked away from. So let's put this. Stay optimistic. Nothing has gone wrong. Unbreakable love. Be honest. 
trust the process. They are the one, law of attraction. Okay. Is what I'm getting here. So that's that's really what we want to see and talk about. What goes around comes back around. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's definitely trying to come back around is what I'm seeing, but let's see what this is about. Stay optimistic. Community. Okay. Some of your friends and family may be, you know telling you to stay optimistic or uh, you could be talking to people about connections or something like that let's see nothing has gone wrong there could be people seeing that you're optimistic about love no matter what you've been through yeah enjoy the ride nothing has gone wrong trust the process this connection is divinely timed so spirit is just saying go with the flow keep living your life you will experience uh, love here. Some of you could be going by water. Maybe take a beach day, a vacation day. Um, you know, take the uh, edge off kind of energy. Enjoy yourself. Pamper yourself. Live life. Unbreakable love. This person has a genuine love for you. You can overcome any issues that may arise. Yeah, there you go. Beach day getaway. Some of you may meet this person while you're out on a vacation, by the beach, by water, by really just being you, enjoying you, is what I'm getting. Ooh, we have the portal. Yeah. New doors are opening. Okay, raising your vibration here. Yep, raising your vibration with sound, resonance, and frequency. Some of you could be listening to um, music by the beach. Okay. This feels like a boardwalk. Who else had that? Because I'm hearing under the boardwalk, out by the sun, under the boardwalk, we'll be having some fun under the boardwalk, boardwalk. And somebody else had this energy. Who had that energy of the boardwalk? So I don't know. I don't remember. Could have been Scorpio, but I'm not sure. Anywho. So yeah, springtime. Make it count, make it count. Seize the day. Carp DM. Okay. Alright. What else? Thrift shop magic. Let your light shine. I'm getting let your magic shine. Go your own way. Yeah, see you on the other side. Yeah. So whoever's aligning with you, they could be going through a period of transition as well. So spirit, spirit is saying nothing's wrong. If there's somebody that you thought should have been in your life already, but they haven't been, even if you don't know the person and you've been open to love, it's because this person also is going through some sort of transition themselves. That's why it hasn't aligned. Okay? So just keep doing you. And... Um, I'm just seeing that eventually you you are attracting this person by using the law of attraction okay they are the one so uh, yeah no worries Aquarius no worries all right let's see what else here yeah they could be rebuilding and there's something about taking a risk when it comes to you watching you online meeting new people Searching, new love, pursuit, flings, dating, multiple people, hunting, exploring, available. Yeah, somebody's definitely watching you, but I feel like they're rebuilding. Okay, start over and rebuild stronger. Putting in the work, personal strength, working on and persistence, overcoming challenges. Oh, whoa. Almost lost all of that. Man. Yeah, somebody's ascending. Aligning to you, Aquarius. So you're vibing high. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever that was over there, that's outdated. 
they have a limited perception you could have bumped into somebody that was kind of macho macho man is what i'm hearing they think that um the man could do anything while the woman just takes it kind of energy yeah no those days are gone yeah travel see the world go by the beach some of you are having a good old time being you hard work okay the hard work will be rewarded Teamwork, dedication, fertility, success, sweet indulgence, achieving the impossible. Okay, some of you could work with a community specific or, you know, these are friends that you're connected to that bring optimism to you. You could be bringing optimism to, to people here, um, whatever it is. The honeybee energy, okay? Worker bees. Music, enjoy the ride, definitely merry-go-round. Something about that sound also. Some of you are like, Spirit wants you to just, just be a kid again. Get in touch with that inner child. It's a date, okay, wants to put in the effort. Unbreakable love. Genuine. Somebody could be on the beach thinking about this. About how they're going to come up, come towards you. Okay, something could be significant about holiday season. Appointment, meeting in person, dating, rendezvous, courtship, getting to know each other. Okay. For some of you, this started in, in uh, December. But maybe this person just wasn't ready. That could have been when you met this person. That, that's for some of you. But I'm not seeing that here because of beach day, getaway. Um, yeah, Cupid. I just feel like somebody wants to date you. They want to set a date to get to know you. They may want to travel with you or travel to see you or have you travel to see them. I feel like this person loves being by the beach. They may want to take you to the beach. That That's what I'm seeing. Now, you could be dealing with a Capricorn for some of you. Or you have Capricorn in your chart. We have Cupid. New love will find you. New love, meeting someone new, getting back out there, honeymoon stage, and potential. Heart to heart. Yeah. Somebody wants to talk about their feelings. I feel somebody's already feeling it. Yeah, weighing the pros and cons. Analyzing, exploring, comparing, unsure of the relationship, contemplating, and uh, dissecting. With rebuilding, memories. Yeah, somebody here is healing. So this person is healing. Okay, whoever's coming into your life, there was a lot of drama in their life. So the situation is still undecided because they, they went through some heartbreak. Okay, they're at home healing, but you guys will be fools for each other. Okay, yeah, ascending. Yeah, you may already know who this is. They just, you're like, why hasn't this person like reached out, said anything? Um, they're healing from heartbreak. Okay, so... If this is somebody, if you're not the one that went through this whole third party and blah, 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 it's them that went through a breakup here. Okay. I don't want to use these. Let's see. Let's do two more, but let's do it this way. Karma. Okay, working through karma, hard work. All right. Would stay optimistic. Okay, somebody could have went. Uh, uh, somebody could have been dealing with a karmic. I'm done pretending. Nothing has gone wrong. Trust the process. This connection is divinely timed. Somebody wants to enjoy the ride with you. Okay, they could be getting signs, synchronicities through music. Someone here could play the guitar, or be some sort of musician. Take it how it resonates. You deserve the best. Unbreakable love. Whoever this is, when they show up, they're gonna spoil you. They know you deserve the best. 
I could lose myself in you. Ooh. If they're honest with themselves and Cupid has struck this person. Yeah. This is aligning. Sound, resonance, frequency. Nice. Have I lost you? Okay. Someone's working through karma and wondering if they've lost you. You are adorable. They're done pretending. Okay. I want you to enjoy your life. Yeah, enjoy the ride. You deserve the best. Whoever this is wants you to enjoy your life. I'm sorry for not contacting you. Yeah, so you know who this is. Or they're just letting you know, I'm sorry I haven't reached out yet, but they are going through healing. I could lose myself in you. Ah, beautiful. So if you know who this is, they're talking to you. This feels like 5D messages. They haven't forgot about you. They were just in something and they're healing from that. So this is somebody that you might have been crushing on but was it with someone else. Okay. They still care about you. They hope you're doing well. Okay. They do need to see you. And they somehow trust you. Okay. They trust this connection they're feeling. Because they can feel you. Okay? Yeah. I want to be strong like you. So definitely this person is ascending and healing and uh, being a better version of themselves. Okay? Whoever this new person is. You mean more to me than you think? Look at that. You're all I've ever wanted. Wow. All right. Well, you know, if, if that doesn't tell you. I don't know what will, Aquarius. That's pretty good. Let's get some tarot on this person. Ooh, the lovers with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is definitely someone you can build with. Okay. Passionate connection as well. I'm loving that. Yeah. The world. New beginnings with the lovers. Meant to be. Divine counterparts also. Meant to, meant to meet this lifetime. Really good karma, too, if I might say. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Taurus, a Scorpio, an Aquarius, or a Leo. Sagittarius. Yeah. You're definitely manifesting this new person with the Fool and the Magician. There's the Empress with the Fool. Nice. One more shuffle here. Yeah, patience with temperance, balance, equilibrium, slow and steady, going with the flow. Devil in reverse, yeah, somebody's definitely um, breaking out of, if these were just like karmics themselves around this person, like family, friends, e-lovers, yeah, they're breaking out of that. Yeah, it's time, okay. Knight of Wands. This person could be a bit of a rebel. Yep. Eight of Wands. Communication. Travel. Okay, it is over here. There's a lot of emphasis on travel here. Yep. If they're honest with themselves with the hangman, seeing you from a higher perspective. Okay. I could lose myself in you. Yeah, Five of Wands. They're getting away from some sort of drama here. Okay? Could be like, you know, a friend group that's very toxic. Yeah, they're... This person was surrounded by, like, some real messed up people here. With Five of Swords and the Five of Wands and the Devil. Somebody's trying to stay optimistic after going through something pretty, pretty rough here. Okay, the magician. Yeah, this this rebel wants to manifest you. Or you manifesting them. Hierophant, Taurus energy. 
definitely um, commitment coming in. And what else? Yeah, commitment coming in for once. Okay. They see you as the one. Cupid's arrow. This person is looking for commitment. Yeah, they're they're healing from oh, they're healing from a fake ass empress. This is an empress in reverse. Ten of Swords with the Five of Pentacles with judgment. They thought this okay, wait a minute. Knight of Swords. Or they were married before. I'm also seeing that you're ready for wish fulfillment after, you know, going through betrayal here. Okay, so if this is you and you're staying optimistic after being amongst, like, a bunch of karmics here that betrayed you. Okay, those people are going through karma. And you have the rite of passage because you've done a lot of self-healing, self-work. You are the honeybee, the empress. So you're getting wish fulfillment. You've been patient. You've been balancing your energy. Okay, you're lighter on your feet on a new path. And there's a King of Cups, Knight of Swords that wants to communicate with you. Two of Cups. Okay, but they're healing. Yeah. But they're moving forward. Could be a Cancer for some of you. Or Scorpio. Um, yeah, they're watching you. Definitely. They're, they could be afraid of rejection. Yeah, look at that. They want to go towards you, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Wands, or you want to go towards a Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's holding on to this cup. Okay. So somebody here is trying to... Hmm, this could be somebody else entirely. Oh. Two of Wands. Somebody's trying to steer you a different direction, so be careful with that. Why do I feel like whoever this is trying to come into your life, they they were surrounded by enemies. Because I see that you were as well, but this person too. And there may be somebody here trying to lie and deceive to get you to go their way. Because there's jealousy here amongst friends. Or they're not even friends, they're like frenemies. It's just, you know, it took a long time to figure out that these were not friends. These were frenemies. Ops. Foes. Whether they're friends, family, or, or exes. But I feel like there's a friend here that's trying to sway you elsewhere. Steal this love from them. And they're watching you. Okay? So there's competition amongst friends whoever they thought were their friends wow oh, that's what I'm seeing I don't think that's gonna work you're high vibing over here but I feel like you know of this person they just haven't shown up in your life the way that you know you would want this to show up but it will okay they're healing from something here there could be a whole group going through karma for messing with this person in, a, in the wrong way. All right, let's talk about career. Aquarius. Star power, bright ideas. Okay, you are the star in the zodiac. Uh, in the uh, tarot, you're the star here. Something about foresight here resources yeah path to wealth star power some of you are uh, putting yourselves out there you're in the limelight or this person could be in the limelight but we're talking about your career so one more shuffle here let's see what's going on in career Aquarius Duality. Do not forget about the dual nature of people. Don't lose your vigilance. And I feel like some of you went through a lot with certain people around you. 
And I feel like you, you understand people's duality quite well. Resources, be grateful for what you have and save something for the future. Use wisely and as needed. Okay, some of you are saving some money. You know, not letting your left hand know what your right hand is doing also is what I'm getting here. Yeah, we have closed doors, no job opportunities. The current job is coming to an end. Start all over again. Okay, so there's something about to switch up here in career. I feel like that's why Spirit is telling you to save some money. Or this is somebody that you worked with or that was around you, that was in their shadow. Getting karma, their doors are closing. So why is this seeping in over here? So take it how it resonates. Let's see what else here. Yeah, direction. Do not deviate from your path. Attract a mentor if necessary. Plan where you want to be. Okay. Somebody's trying to steer you from your path. You have enemies, definitely. They're trying to steer you from this wealth path. That's that King of Wands energy trying to... I feel like there's a bunch of karmics here. That either we're dealing with this person coming into your life, so they know about you, or a group of people you were surrounded by. Okay, for some of you, it should. It may be a little bit of both. You guys, you both had some serious enemies around you. And there are some people that are against you two coming together, is what I'm seeing. Whoever that King of Wands is that's trying to steal you from their path, they may steer you in the wrong direction, so stay the course. Okay, be careful with that. Could be a Leo, um, Aries, or Sag. Because they're trying to steal that Ace of Cups from this person, is what I'm feeling. Okay, yeah, and, and you look at that, they, no wonder they're going getting karma. They do magic. Using witchcraft, occult, and learning. That's not, these are not God's secrets. They're using this for malice. Okay, transform the situation. They're trying to change the course of you two coming together because of this wealth. So they're trying to harness whatever good karma you have because their karma is shit. So somebody here is trying to, to basically charm you so that they can reap the rewards. And you two don't reap those rewards together. Remember, we saw the Ten of Pentacles at the beginning with the lovers okay yeah money matters expense save cut cost resource plan ahead plan ahead make an effort choice invest your money wisely yeah these are people paying for spell work and up and look surprise an unexpected turn can bring positive change be ready for change there's an unexpected turn. We have independence. Manage money yourself. Independence guarantees security. Don't depend on others. So if you guys work for yourself or you work, you know, you're an entrepreneur. You have many, you know, like side hustles or, or many things that you do for work. And you're independent. Okay, because I feel like, or you're getting into that. Um, stay the course. Be careful with these snakes, okay? Yeah, there's something about setting higher goals. So yeah, spiritual work. That's what I was feeling over here. Open your heart to spiritual career and heal the human heart. You are a light worker. So yeah, that's why you have so many snakes around you. Snakes are not always bad, but from what I'm picking up in this reading, there are people that have bad karma. These could even be people that specifically target light workers, okay? Because they know light workers are meant to be abundant. And they try to harness and steal their energy to manifest for themselves or um, get into relationships with these types of people. And they use magic, okay, to manipulate. I feel like that's what happened to somebody here big time. Um, it could have happened to both of you, even if you didn't know about it. In the background you have some serious haters that want to take your your basically try to jump on your timeline and walk the path along with you or steal what you have and it's still stealing because they're still even if they enjoy some of it while they're in your life they're trying to take it away from 
who you're really meant to flourish with in this path of wealth, abundance. You see what I'm saying? Okay. People can be sneaky. All right, let's see what else. Yeah, they're taking a gamble because you got gifts. All right, you will discover new talents that will lead to new opportunities. Some of you, you're discovering that you want to do something that has to do with your purpose, um, that has to do with your spiritual growth, so it could be new for you. For some of you, you've been doing it for some time. Okay, use your opportunities that arise. And some of you are, are definitely tapping into your spiritual gifts. And these people are, are gamblers, okay? They're risky with the, with the risk they take in a negative way. So whatever they're trying to gamble here when it comes to you, it's going to backfire. You smarter than that? You got to be quicker than that? Yeah. Love life. I'm telling you, that king of wands trying to take you away from this person. <laughs> free from problems and money troubles. They want to be free from problems and money troubles. Enjoy the passion of love. Love and be loved. I can't make this up. It says, do not forget about the dual nature of people. Somebody here is trying to take you away from someone. Exhausted. Yeah. Free. Uh, feel financially drained. Lacking viable options. Recharge and regroup. You see this regroup, five of wands, five of swords with the devil. These people are lacking resources because they're going through karma. Because they just finished doing it to somebody here. And now they're looking at you. So what I'm getting is this person was part of, or they were dating somebody that was in this group. And now they're out of that situation. It caused a lot of drama. Um, it probably drained their bank account. They, they were involved in the wrong setting, okay? <coughs> and now these people, they betrayed this person. Or you, take it how it resonates. And, and now, but I feel like it's them because there's a king of wands trying to steal this cup of love from them. So that they get with you. So there's something that you are meant for or that you already have because you're a light worker that they can benefit greatly from. Okay? And it's financially. Yeah, there it is. These people, they're the ones that have closed doors. These are people that, that they lack direction. They have closed doors, but they want to live this life. It says social status. You will reach the heights of fame and society. Don't get arrogant. And obviously they did because it says closed doors. No good job opportunities. The current job is coming to an end. They're getting karma. I'm telling you. Sneaky little bastards. Yeah, they're sneaky, but they ain't that smart. Yep, ups and downs. Careers like life have ups and downs. Never give up. Do not deviate from your path. Attract a mentor if necessary. These people will drag your karma down if you get linked up to them. So be careful. Yeah, you're meant for success. Sweet success. It is not difficult to get everything you want and enjoy it. Get what you want. And they're looking at you this way. Okay, as well. Yeah, transformation. Change is the natural, or change is the natural order of things. Don't be afraid of the unknown. And we have fertility. It is time to think about family life and children. Don't sacrifice family for career. So you're going through a, a change, a transformation here. Some of you could be, you know, letting go of sweets, losing weight. And we have opportunity, new job opportunities, change of workplace or business, business trip. Uh, change is coming just in time. Good luck. Good luck with all responsibilities and work duties. Take your chances work duties yeah celebration you should celebrate your work your winnings your victories it will bring luck in the future have a party some of you are getting an opportunity where it's going to allow you to focus on family as well some of you again you could already be in that type of situation you got some you, both of you Whoever's coming into your life and you have people watching 
what you're doing and what is meant for you. They're getting readings on you. And I feel like the reason they know about you also is because of this person. They must have told somebody here that they were interested in you when they didn't know that these people were not their friends. They got betrayed big time here. Or you did. Take it how it resonates. Alright, let's get some tarot here. There you go. The Fool. What did we see first? We saw the Lovers with the Ten of Pentacles. Now we have the Fool with the Ten of Cups. Family time. We have Judgment here. You have the right of passage to, to manifest whatever you want. And these people, they don't know how to do this. They have a lot of karma. Judgment with the Seven of Cups is all this karma they need to work through. Accumulative karma. Being stripped of everything because they're using magic to do it and they're, and they're backstabbing people. Yeah, they're missing opportunities left and right. We have the King of Pentacles. That's the person that was betrayed here as well. Yep, there will be justice for this. Yeah, Three of Cups. Do not forget about the dual nature of people. These could be toxic people, people that drink, smoke, do whatever, have addictions. Yep, Five of Pentacles. I'm telling you, these people have no more resources. They're broke. They're coming together to conjure up a plan here. Yeah, you're being moved away from this situation. Listen to spirit, the signs, synchronicities. The sun. Okay, don't deviate from your path. Careers like life have ups and downs. So if these if these people try to sell you a dream, don't go, don't fall for it, because you're the one with the uh, the sun in your path. Even if it doesn't seem that way right now, two of swords. Yeah, these people have a um, limited perception, okay? Yeah, they're going through heavy burdens. These people are going through karma for what they did to this person. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're being moved out of the way to plant your seeds elsewhere. Nine of Pentacles, exactly. Independence, the sun shining on you. Whatever ups and downs you went through, stay the course. Justice is here. Wish fulfillment is here. New creative pursuits or opportunities are here with the two of wands. Boom. The emperor. Whether this is you or this is a person coming towards you. Yep. There you go. Two of cups. Knight of wands with the wheel of fortune. This is giving me some sort of uh, travel. I, I, I'm hearing astral travel. Something about passion. King of Swords with the Strength and the Magician. Yeah, you see, you're you're manifesting. So you're manifesting the Soulmate. Okay, the Knight of Wands is giving me that Rebel energy with the King of Swords. Whether you're male or female. You're, I mean, justice in your power. Taking control of your life. In connection to destiny, of course. Um... The magician, the strength, you have the strength and power to manifest your desire. Okay. And then healing. I'm also seeing if this is the person walking into your life. They're healing and regaining their strength. Setting boundaries and cutting people out of their life. And not holding back anymore what they've been wanting to say for a long time. So as soon as this person left this group, they started getting their karma and shit started hitting the fan. So now they're looking at you and devising a plan because they lack resources. They better start looking elsewhere. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Although we don't, we don't wish these fools on anyone. They need to get karma so they can stop doing this. Wherever these people are. See what spirit has to say.
decisions, the need to gain clarity through decision making. Okay. So make sure you make the right choices. Past life connection. Someone with heavy influence from a past life is with you. And that's this person over here. You guys could be twins. I'm not sure. Leap of faith. It, it, with all this um, spiritual warfare, basically, with this magic, I feel like definitely, if not soulmates, okay? Definitely divine counterpart. Leap of faith. Taking a risk, stepping into the beauty of the unknown. With a past life connection and making that choice to be with you. Resolving issues, solving inner conflict with others, and healing past trauma. So, solving inner conflict with others. To heal past traumas. Embrace, find peace with your current state of being. Denial, failure to accept a situation, unhealthy cycles and addictions. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Stress, cleanse, and detoxify from unnecessary commitments. Okay. Whoever this is is not seeing these people clearly for who they truly, truly are. They're still in denial. Whether this is you or them, I don't know. Okay, because this person is trying to find some sort of um, peace and trying to resolve their issues, solving inner conflict with others, healing past traumas. I feel like they're trying to solve their financial issues because these people could be giving them the guilt trip or they're giving somebody here the guilt trip. So if, it, if these are people coming into your life, be careful, stay the course. Because somebody's making a decision to take a leap of faith so that they are able to resolve someone else's issues. And it, Spirit is trying to say, somebody's under stress because of this. Cleanse and detoxify from unnecessary commitments. Unnecessary. Meaning, you don't owe anyone anything. These people are takers and they're doing the most behind the scenes. For whoever this is, whether this is for you or this person trying to come into your life. We have dedication. Stay dedicated to your goals, efforts that will reap success. And then with this denial, we have failure to accept a situation, unhealthy cycles, or addictions. So is somebody here failing to see that these people are toxic and that they're just taking, taking, taking? Because that's what I've been getting through almost the whole reading. People doing black magic and, and spell work and, and trying to take somebody's um, connection away so that they can have money, resources, fames. That's why doors are closed. Somebody's trying to save people that are, are, are going through their just dues, their karma. Like what they're meant to go through because of the things that they've done. So we got we got a captain save a hole here. I don't think this is you. I feel like this is this person. So I hope that their intentions. So what are they trying to hold up? Because this person was knows these people, right? They exhausted their means trying to help this these people. Is what I'm seeing. They were the king of pentacles, right? Um, this is, um, uh, uh, I'm getting in and out of timelines. This is somebody, you can't work for both sides, I'm sorry. This feels like somebody working for both sides. You cannot heal other people, you can't, you can't stop people from getting their karma. These are people getting their karma, that's why they have no resources and no more opportunities. If you try to help these types of people, you take on their karmas and it becomes a burden. 
That's why stress is here. And denial is here. Somebody's trying to help these people, and these people don't have their best interests at heart. They have addictions. They're the five of wands, five of swords. They bring traumas. Um, they bring heartbreak. They bring, I mean, we did see that somebody was healing from this. So maybe this is something they were doing in the past. Because somebody's telling this person to stay the course. And I feel like these people are guilt tripping someone. But yeah, they need the strength to set those boundaries if they're not doing that yet. I mean, I get it. They're still going through a process of healing and understanding is what I'm getting here. Yeah. And these unhealed people that come out of the blue, I'm telling you, they want that fortune and fame. They're keeping this person stuck with the Knight of Pentacles. They're betraying this person. And they need to move forward. Yeah. The tower with the five of cups here. That's what's going to end up happening if somebody don't snap out of their denial. So somebody here is still needs to see things a little clearer. Or this is what they saw when they were trying to help this person. Because we did see somebody healing. We did see that. Yeah. I'm I'm also kind of wondering if this person um cuz I feel like you knew of this person but they were in something else. Whatever they were in was also connected to this group. This person could have actually betrayed you somehow to help these people. Because these people are manipulative and they also do spell work behind the scenes. This is some sort of cult. And now this person sees you for who you really are. They know you deserve the best. They're sorry for not contacting you. They may feel ashamed. I feel they made a major mistake here. They want to make a choice to take a leap of faith. But these, these people, I don't know if they're blackmailing this person. Making them feel guilty. This is the kind of person that definitely needs to, to uh, they're trying to resolve issues with these people. They need to find peace within the, they're trying to find peace within the current state of being. But this denial, this stress, they're dedicated to their goals and reap great rewards. Communicate and express, or they want to communicate to you. Pay attention. Yeah, look out for the signs from the divine. Acknowledge red flags. Fear. Yeah, they're expecting the worst. Afraid of failure. Wasting time on negative thoughts pursue bigger and greater endeavors release yeah okay release grudges and, and and pent up feelings through healthy activities this person got taken for a fool i feel like they're seeing it now for what it is but there's still some sort of remnants of this group and there is definitely somebody that they know that they considered a friend is a big foe here trying to steal this you from them. Child, I don't know. This is nuts. I'm going to leave it there because this, this is very intertwined. Very, very intertwined. You just keep doing you um, Aquarius and, and living your life. And whatever's going on in the background with that person and those people. They're the ones that need to really see things and... Um, really steer clear of those people they are healing they are ascending um and they are seeing things for what it is slowly but there's still a few people or situations that they may not have full clarity on it's like this person doesn't want to believe that these people are that bad is what i'm picking up and they actually are they are that bad these people that they were surrounded 
surrounding themselves with are that bad. They could have gave these people chances to work together. You know, they could call each other like family or something like that. But doors are being closed for a reason. If this person is losing more than they're gaining, it's because they're hanging out with people that have bad karma. And they have that karma for a reason. He cannot save these people. That He can't. Karma has to play out. He or she, whoever it is. Alright, that's what I have. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. I wish you the best. I'll see you guys later. Peace.